welcome. And thank you for tuning in to the final episode of Human League, brought to you by Jameson Irish Whiskey. They say what you don't know can't hurt you. Unless, of course, you don't know what you did with your mother's Tupperware. In which case, what you don't know can mortally wound you. I know three things. Where my mother's containers are, that we're about to have a good time. That right now is a good time for you to pour yourself a Jameson. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So how you been? I'm very well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually good. feeling good. I started running, dude. Running? Yeah. It's good. I was walking and then I used to take walks. And then you just thought I could do this faster. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you since you got engaged, bro. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Congrats. I'd, I'd buy your shooter, but um, my fake wife took my card. <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, it's more for tax benefits, but I'm, I'm still excited about it. You know, there's people who like send elaborate invites. Mm -hmm. Like I got an invite the other day. It was like a golden box, and you open it. There was a ballerina spinning. Oh, that's you unnecessary. Know, and then at the end, there was like a little scroll with all the details. I'm like, just make a WhatsApp group. Right. If you can't make it, exit the group, and then just drop a pin to the wedding. Right. Yeah. I went to a wedding once where, when the bride and groom walked out the church. They're meant to throw confetti on them, but they're trying to be fancy. Yeah. So they put butterflies in a box, but they didn't poke holes. Okay. The butterflies couldn't breathe, so they died. And then they just threw dead butterflies on the bride and groom. Wow. It was horrible. Lots of powder and stuff. Like, Are they still married, those people? I, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Could have been worse. Could have been pigeons. I want kids so I can get out of social situations. People always use their kids as an excuse You're to get so right. out of, you know. Like whenever it's my birthday, my friends with kids always cancel using their kids as an excuse. Like, oh, my son has a netball game tonight. And so I'm like, your son has a netball game. And then they're offended. Like, oh, it's 2021. Boys can play netball. I'm like, it's not that. Your son's three months old. Yeah, we want him to be a protea. Protea netball. Yes. <laughs> Did your parents ever give you the birds and the bees talk? No, they um, they saw what I had on my cell phone and they knew it wasn't necessary. Right, right. <laughs> it was before color screens though. It was just, you know, my friends, we were just sending the open bracket, space, dot, space, close bracket, and then repeat. They're like, he knows what's going on. <laughs> this kid knows. Listen, I need to go have an early one. Sweet, bro. Because um, this conversation's going nowhere. So, nice to see you. Good to see you as well, dude. Can you pay for this? Sorry, man, let me just check the bloody maps here. I dude, don't know where it, we are. It's hot as hell in here. Does the aircon work? Sorry, man, these old cars. Can you not feel it? No, why don't we just get a company car or even get an Uber? Sorry, man, I, I try and drive my granny's car when I'm in Cape Town. You know she's in a wheelchair. Hey, old age will get us all, man. No, 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 she sprained her ankle at a cold party. She'll be fine soon. But anyway, still for the battery, you know. Anyway, look, we're in Cape Town. Let's just have a good time. Nah, you know, I could never. What? I could never bloody live here. Look at this road. Where are we? Is this a one-way? Is it a two-way? Is it a three-way? First three-way I ever had. Cape Town. Hello. <laughs> Hello. No, I mean, that's why they say people in Cape Town can't drive. It's not because they're bad drivers. Because people in Cape Town are too bloody hot. I tell you, too bloody hot. Driving. That's everyone's just driving like this. Boom. Crash. Can't, can't drive in Cape Town. Hot people all over. Yeah, but Jared, look, look at that mountain, dude. Nah, I can't. I can't. I could never. You know, Cape Town people inviting you up the mountain 5 a.m. on a Sunday. I'm like, but are you not even having a dope on a Saturday night? I'll tell you why, because you 170 rand for a cocktail any place you go in Cape Town. Now, that's what I want to do on a Saturday night. Chill at home, Wizzo, watch a DVD. No DVD shops in Cape Town anymore. When else did you see one? DVD shop around my corner. Still 20 rand for a new release. Yeah. Bali hasn't put up the prices. Look, the one thing you can't compete when it comes to Cape Town and Joburg. The beach. Oh, the beach. The beach. If I want to go to the beach, I'll go to Sun City. Thank you very much. Hello. Beach. Hour and a half in the Volvo. Next door. Casino. Other side next door. Ocean basket. Thank you very much. I'm joking. 
for the hipsters. Thought I'd fit in. Sorry, Jason. I for I forget you from Cape Town. Sorry, but uh, I'm not from Cape Town. Where are you from? Born and bred in Durban. What about me made you think that I'm from Cape Town? I thought you were Cape Townian. You just that, got a Cape Town chilled face, face vibe. That's weird. Chilled out. That's weird that you think I'm from Cape Town. Oh. How's your wife? Oh, uh, she's very good, thanks. She's actually very excited at the moment. For? Uh, we're moving to Cape Town. So I can come stay when I when I'm here for work and there's the cottage. There's or? no space at all. It's the wife, the kid, the dog. There's no space at all. Not even a no. couch, spare room. Landlord said uh, no couches in the oh, living okay. room. Yeah, it's just yeah, also it's... my child has homework. Yeah, no, 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 I'll get her a child. Sounds sounds small anyway. Sounds very small. Get out my granny's car. What? I'm joking. I'm joking because these cars have space. Check yeah. That's what you're buying, but family of four, Cape Town flat. Okay. Let's go. Car's dead. Do you, do, you have Uber? Uber, do you have Uber app? No, I don't have Uber anymore. Deleted all my apps with my phone. <laughs> Sorry, do you work here? Excuse me. Sister, I'm Johnny. Just so you know, customer service is our number one priority. How can I help you? Nice. Uh, can I get a burger? Unfortunately, we don't have burgers. I think we might have ribs. Okay, good luck, Madonna. I'm sure. Can I, can you just show me the restroom? Where the restroom is? We don't have restroom. Our place is. We have bathrooms. Can you at least show me where the? See, see, there's bathrooms all over the place. If you go this way, there's a bathroom. There's a bathroom at the back. There's bathrooms all over. The next time, use the bathroom before you come here. Have you seen? Hey, can you can I please speak to the manager actually? I am the manager. Thank you for joining us. We do hope that you enjoyed the show. Because sometimes in life when things are a little tough, all you really need is a little laugh. Am I right? <laughs> Come on, somebody. As we part ways, ladies and gentlemen, remember to always leave room for disappointment. I myself, this morning, this very one, misses my mother. I love you, Ma. She responded, thanks, buddy. Thank him, Gani. I got friend zoned by my mother. I, I suspect she's seeing other children. I don't know if it's Timmy from next door. He was better at meds. Ah! <coughs> 
And with that, we bid the adieu. See you next time. Goodbye. Why are there so many credits? Go! How many people worked on this thing? Who's Rob Van Fieren? Calm down before you stress up the groove. The energy a little different when the blessings are cool. Hey, who you talking to? Just know I ain't no.